Okay, for anybody who stuttered, studied uh, Dr. Stifler's work, a lot of it had to do with electrolysis of water with his sec units. And his sec units ran at that 13.5 or 13.6 um, megahertz frequency. So I wanted to try this little crystal oscillator uh, that I showed in my last two videos, which is this circuit here on electrolysis and see what it did because some of the people are mentioning that that 13.56 frequency does something to water and uh, if this is electrolysis uh, being done wirelessly from this uh, pickup coil I have here and uh, this is the main coil here that's driving the neon and then this is the pickup coil it goes through a couple of switching diodes uh, into the electrodes in the water and there it is uh, it's not a lot but the fact that it's doing it at all um, is what is very very interesting um, and I just wanted to post this video to uh, show the electrolysis of water um, at that 13.56 megahertz range um, this is a 12 volt battery I'm now running this at, and this is just an AV plug LED as an indicator off of the negative of the battery to show that it is uh, acting like an exciter. The main purpose of this video, however, is this transistor is stone cold, and this is not normal. Normally, these transistors, even on a Dr. Stifler sec, they get warm. And usually you have to put a heat sink on them. On a Slayer Exciter, this would have blown. And especially with that kind of an output on it, you couldn't have gotten away without having a heat sink on this. And this thing is stone cold. And um, I don't know. I don't know what's going on here with this. But this is this crystal circuit that a guy came up with to test his crystals to see if they were functioning. Slider got a hold of this circuit tried it with his crystals and got it to do something. I took the ball and ran with it and changed this 1K resistor to a 1000 microhenry choke. These values here can be slightly different. They're not critical. This is the same. I am using a uh, MPS A06 transistor like Dr. Stifler uses on his 6, but a 2N222 will also work. Uh, it comes out of here with a sine wave at 13.56 you go into a coil here which is a uh, aircore coil their their paper wrapped up around a double a battery and filled up with 26 gauge wire this is not super critical and you can tune them with a ferrite rod if you need to i lucked out and got this to run without tuning it but this is actually longer than a normal l3 on a sec um, but i get away with it it's slightly a step-up transformer actually here, but this electrolysis, like I say, if you study Dr. Stifler's work at all, he did a lot with electrolysis. And uh, I just wanted to show this um, going off here. And the bubbles, I'm pretty sure, are um, hydrogen. It might be both because I'm not seeing anything come off the other electrode. But um, anyway, this is 12 volts. Uh, I did some more power measurements, and it's around 30 milliamps or less. But it's the fact that this transistor doesn't even get warm that really um, I have the major question mark about what's going on here. But I wanted to share that with people that uh, at 13.5 or 13.6 megahertz, some very interesting things happen. Thanks for watching.